So the team behind Procreate just released a new update to Procreate 5. So Procreate is now version 5.0.5. In this video, we're going to take a quick look on what has changed, what are some of the new improvements, and apparently you now get more layers if you do have the latest iPad model. My name is Leo and you're watching Ghost Paper, so now let's get to it. All right. Looking here at the App Store, it does say that, you know, update 5.0.5 and what are the changes with this latest update from Procreate? You now have a charming new option to export HEVC animations. What does that actually mean? So HEVC is a codec also known as the H265. In the 265, if you're familiar with the codec H264, it's a very friendly, uh, compatible kind of QuickTime format. So the HEVC, it's kind of like the big brother or the next step when it comes to H264. And apparently it does, uh, it does create a smaller file with a really good picture, picture quality. So the only thing here to be uh, mindful here, guys, is that the H265 codec is actually not as friendly at the moment because it's something that is quite new, still kind of coming out. So if you want something a little bit more compatible, you can still go with the H264, which you can also find once you go into Procreate here and you, uh, I believe you have to click on a new file. Let's go create a custom canvas. And when you go into, I believe the time-lapse settings, you can choose here, as you can see, you can have the HEVC I, I, by the way, I haven't even done the update, but this is just a setting when you're creating a new canvas on Procreate, it, it already gives you that setting. So now what I think uh, Procreate is giving us in this latest update is the ability to also use this option, which we have for the time-lapse setting MP4 that you can export. You now have that option as well when you're exporting your animations. So it's really great to see that Procreate is moving towards H.265 or HEVC codec. But just be mindful that if you are, you know, it depends on what software you're using, depends on where you're sending. So just make sure to check it first before actually using this option. So it also says that now you can also export the Lightfall animations with transparent backgrounds using the HEVC uh, encoding, which we just went through. Now you also have, you know, the option using the Majestic new 2020 iPad Pro, you can now create even more layers. So personally for this one, guys, I do not have the latest iPad model. I do have the 2018 12.9 inches iPad Pro. But thanks to Rebecca Mills on a tweet that actually Jeremy Vogel posted about the update on Procreate, she actually posted a reply where she did some comparisons using two print format sizes, the A4 and the A3. Apparently for the A3 print format size for the A3 canvas, before we used to get about 26 layers at 300 dpi. And now we get with the latest update and the latest iPad Pro model, we get about 34 layers with that same canvas at 300 dpi. When it comes to A4, before we used to get 57 layers and now with the latest uh, update on Procreate and the latest iPad Pro model, we get about 73 layers. So for uh, both of these formats, we have an increase of about 30%, which is actually really, really great, especially if you work with print formats, if you're doing coloring books, if you're doing all sorts of small print formats. This is actually a great addition to, uh, to Procreate. However, uh, I, I'm also checking a few other updates and apparently for the some of the biggest size canvas, uh, you really don't get as much. So it's kind of like proportional. The bigger, the bigger your canvas, really you're only about to get, uh, for example, something about like two to five layers max on the latest iPad model using this update right here. So it really depends on what you're doing. I do believe that if you are using, you know, stretching the limits of Procreate, you're actually not going to get a lot of layers. So do keep this in mind. But if you're doing a lot of smaller print formats and a3 is really not that small but you know it's still considered rather small depending on what you're thinking if you're comparing to a really big poster or a really big banner and depending on the banner procreate won't even be uh won't be won't even be able to handle that but just keep that in mind uh, if you are considering to choose a new ipad uh just because of this feature and finally, animated GIFs, PNGs, and MP4s now import way better 
when it comes to throwing these files into Procreate and starting a new canvas. So all in all, these are really great additions. I'm going to hit update right here and update my Procreate as well and give it a, give it a try, give it a spin here on some of these features. Once again, I won't be able to test the new or the expanded layer limit, but you know, maybe in the near future, I can think about getting a new iPad if that comes to uh, a necessity. I, I really think that you know, I, what, the reason why I like to make these videos, even though sometimes they could just be about quick news, is that you really have to think about your productivity and the work that you do, if that's really necessary to go that far, you know, get the latest iPad model with the highest price, or if you can afford something cheaper to just kind of get started. So I believe that kind of covers for the updates, guys. I just wanted to make this quick video in case you haven't updated uh, just yet your Procreate. Go right ahead into the App Store and start your update. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, a like would be super appreciated. As well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of these tips and tricks, reviews, speed paint videos, and updates on Procreate. Now on the right side of the screen right here, there's more content for you to watch on Procreate. There's my latest upload and also a video that YouTube is recommending you to watch in order to expand your skills. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.